Final episode. Inside Hill Hook. Sunkaku, 411, whatever name is currently popular these days. Um, again, this idea of making a submission. I'm trying to look at what are the breaking mechanics of what you're trying to destroy. Um, so when it comes to the inside heel hook, I'm trying to tear this bad boy here. There's a lot in common with the heel hook and the arm bar, oddly enough. So if I was to go for an arm bar on Naki. The control, I have control of somehow above uh, his shoulder as much as I can. I did a great uh, episode of podcast with Michael Ballard. Check that out for his like, little armbar detail. It was like, his main armbar is better already. Um, so I control the shoulder. I control the wrist with this little nugget here, the thumb, or just below the thumb. I can use that to manipulate what gets broken here. So we have two versions of an armbar here. And... Here. Okay. Arm bars. So heel hooks. Why does that matter? So if I was to do the inside heel hook here, so the leg is nearest his body, goes at the top, inside leg goes underneath. There's plenty of ways that people have found to like maintain this grip. Um, that suits them. That's kind of an important factor here. I've heard triangling, I've heard lotus grips, I've heard pushing the foot in. I don't really care. All I care about is what is the most efficient way for me compared to the size of his legs. So long legs, short legs, thin, thick, well, I don't really care. But you have to find a way that suits gripping as much as you can into as close to that thigh as you can. The, the less knee I have here, the harder it's going to be. Same with the armbar. I try to collect as much shoulder as I can. I try to collect as much hip as I can. You can see why these things are related. So I collect as much hip as I can. My personal preference is to, to kick my foot in and then rotate my hips ever so slightly out because I don't want him to turn away and escape his foot. So I get a nice pinch here. I'm pinching um, my uh, inside leg here backwards and pinching my legs together to get a good control over his knee. Next then. Is I have to control what is essentially the thumb of the leg. Because that's what's going to dictate how it moves this thing and exposes it. Just like how you use the thumb to expose the inside of the elbow, I'm going to use his heel to expose the inside of his knee. So to open it up, to open his, his uh, heel up, just for the sake of right now, I'm going to use my elbow to pull his toes in. I'm going to catch it here. Again, personal preference when it comes to grips. Um, as long as I can keep it in and keep that thumb controlled, I don't really care. Next is I'm going to try and tear this in two. I want to tear that inner ligament here in half. So by, the best way I can describe it is like to paint your target. What are you trying to destroy? So look at it now, paint it, so I want to destroy this. What's the best way of ripping that in two? I can bridge here, but that's as much as I'm going to get um, lift-wise. If I go sideways, I can now push through. And this is how much play I have. So imagine his thigh staying where it is and his leg coming all the way out the side. That's disgusting. So that will stay there. And that ligament's just going to tear and his leg's going to come all the way out here. Um, once I've made, like, got good control over this, again, or I don't, it doesn't have to be this grip or this grip. I just want his heel locked in that keeps this exposed. Uh, the amount of times I'll see people, people play heel hooks and they'll twist and think that's what's doing the damage, it's like twisting the arm with an arm bar. You're twisting it to try and find the right place where the inside of the elbow is sitting against your groin and then you can bridge through the thing. That's all I'm doing with the heel now on the toes. I expose the heel, I manipulate the thing into place. Once I'm happy, I'm using my back and my hips to push through and rip. Um, and this is why I say, this is why I did the armbar thing first. Because a version of this that I'm actually using, getting quite a lot of use out of, is not even going behind my arm. Like taking out the, the weird nomenclature of a heel hook. Uh, there's a problem with Jiu Jitsu where we use a lot of terms that kind of set ourselves up for failure, like collar chokes, it's the, just anchor point chokes. Um, it's the same with this. People see the heel and they think, I've got to break the heel. 
It's not, I'm using the heel to manipulate this. Don't necessarily care how you hold onto the heel. Like, kind of stealing a bit from Craig Jones, like he uses the grip to kind of, uses the grip to try to maintain the leg before he set it up. I was just finish it from here. So if you think, the arm bar, where I put the arm behind the shoulder, and then go through it, is the exact same as the heel hook there. So in theory, this should work. Where I control the heel, put his knee in the right place, and go for the side. Is it as good as a normal heel hook? No. That's why the behind the arm arm bar is better than a normal arm bar. But in a pinch, if this guy's going wild and I can't control him, I'll go for it anyway. So I don't care if it's here or here. It's the exact same as that arm bar. Give myself as much play as I can to get as much rip on that without having to fight gravity. And I don't care how I hold on to that heel. The heel is only there to put this in the right place. I can go for the side of it. I hope that makes sense. Like, please don't just think this is all that's happening. I'm going to twist his ankles off. I'm going to twist his ankles off. You've got the wrong idea of what you're trying to destroy. I'm trying to break this thing in half. It's in a ligament. The more I squeeze here, again, that's why I bring this leg back. Because if I'm trying to rip this, my leg is already assisting. Like this, this thigh here is pulling his leg in a weird position where it's already pulling this. And then a little bit of movement from my hip, and the whole thing goes, to wrong, goes wrong for him. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible, isn't it? And the toes in the asshole, though. No, no toes in the asshole. You can, you can. If that gives you a better grip, put all your toes in his asshole. Um, like fish hooking. But fish hooking on the dark side with toes. Should I cut that out at the end? Yeah, 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 no, I'm not going to cut that out. <laughs> um, so I'm only looking at doing a season three, series three, I don't know what I call them, um, where it's going to be gi only. It's winter, winter at least here in the UK. Um, so that makes more sense that we just do gi stuff because it's cold. Um, so, yes, tune in for that next seven episode series on gi techniques. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching that video, wherever the hell it was about. Um, please like it, share it, subscribe to the channel. If there's a bell icon, it should be on this side. Uh, please click on that uh, if you want to get notifications for any new videos I make. If there are other videos around my head someplace, please click on those for more techniques. And in the description is a link to my Patreon if you want to support the channel in any way. So thank you for your time.